Hi everyone, this is Emma Kim Sensei. Today uh, I will do the multicast on wireless. It's very easy. Uh, actually, today I used to uh, the um, WAC, virtual WAC, the actual colorless. So 17.3.1 here, version 17.3.1 on the virtual box. Just one thing, uh, when you to choose the NIC adapter type, it's Voltio dash net. So always, as like a last time on the installing on the Mac, adapter one and another two, we need at least two adapters. One is for the measurement, one is for the service. Uh, uh, I don't know, actually I did use the USB NIC, but the uh, trunk, the 802, that one Q, that one Q didn't work. So I just used, because of that, I just used just one network. Uh, when we deploy the wireless multicast, we have to know about the multicast on wired. Actually, if you don't know about the wired multicast, you can't deploy wireless multicast. The wireless multicast is, as uh, the name of it, it's the multicast plus the wireless. So you have to know both of them. Uh, first, the multicast on wire is very simple. From the source, the router, it just sent and routed using PIM, and then using the IGMP, it's the copy to each the PC on the switch. Very simple, no burdens. Uh, but on the wireless, the multicast is a little bit different. So here is same. So until here, so just to come here and uh, using PIM routed. But WLC get the packet. When WLC is on the center mode, I mean, uh, every packet of the uh, AP is come to the WAC. Uh, if there is a the multicast, it have to send to each AP. If it send the multicast over unicast to each AP, it will be stupid. So multicast is sent over multicast. It's first different, and then at AP, when AP send the multicast to the PC. The packet is actually layer to unicast. The IP address is same, each L3, the multicast, but to each client using the destination map, it's copied to each PC. So multicast or multicast and the unicast to the each PC is different. And here, here is the from the Cisco configuration guide. Uh, multicast package the cap up multicast group. So it's multicast over multicast. You think about that if you have 500 APs, the, it, there is a 3 megabps streaming, and if it's sent to each AP using unicast, it will be 1.5 gigabit. So very stupid. Also, this is about the middle stream. So that 11 wireless multicast delivery mechanism does not provide a reliable way. So converting multicast frame to unicast frame over the air. So each media stream client acknowledges receiving a video IP multicast stream. So because of that, the, on the air, the multicast is actually it's very stable. Uh, this is today's topologies because the windows the nick does my my nick does support the that one queue just i you will use just one villain the villain one oh what is wrong the villain one is for the ap and the also client and sourced here that 118 in here is you come here and the switch is and the packet to the wlc then using the multicast of multicast is cop is sent to the AP. And here layer to unicast. If you see this one, multicast 
come here the multicast of multicast come here and the final link cast actually WC is one of the multicast client actually so uh, it's very simple it's very easy so there are two kind of pre requirement one thing you have to as I told you you have to knowledge and the technologies and ability to deploy and troubleshoot wired multicast it's first you have to configure a through switch ip pin especially this lab is very simple so just type there will be maybe two command line especially i did use dense mode dense mode is not usually deployed but this is for lab and sender you have to know about the uh, how to config the, the, v, the VLC if you want to send the video and you have to know how to send the receiver it's so simple but the VLC has some bug I think anyway second requirement before before you deploy the wireless multicast please test with wired net, network same VLA with the wireless host network and then if it if the streaming is not okay at the wireless network, you can't deploy on the wireless wireless network. Okay, at the Cisco WSC 9800, there is a first step. First, multicast enable. Second thing is media streaming. And third thing is bandy media streaming configuration. And fourth thing is the SSID configuration. The fifth is optional. Uh, if there is a menu host, if you apply the high density profile, it will be better. So everything is from this Cisco documentation, actually. This is menu. At the configuration, media stream, and the multimedia stream, and the media parameter, and the wireless send. And when the monitor mode, if you go to the multicast, you can check, you can see it. So what's going on over there, actually? Okay, let's go. This is the Cisco 9800, the GUI, the web. So first, let's go to multicast, enable it. And enable snooping and the courier. So and if you want to some VLAN enable it for the APs and also AP network and also the host network apply okay and go to the media streaming okay so the multicast direct engine enable and then here we have to set up the streaming so streaming name is here Two, three, four, one, dot, one, dot, one, or two, and echo. It's the start and end. Now, just to will test, I will test the one streaming. And maximum expectation bandwidth is for this case, it's uh, five five thousand k kbps, and pick size is uh, fourteen hundred. Increase video. And violation for back drop it if you want and apply then we have to media parameter configuration before that please turn off the 5 gig so I mean if you when you deploy the uh, multicast there will be a downtime and here you need just video redirect the media stream admission control and uh, multicast direct enable and QS admission and 5 gig apply it and then network again and enable it oh one thing here the media parameter so the media the max the bandwidth and the voice max bandwidth total is 85 actually uh, I'm just focused on the, the media, so I give a 70, but it like uh, depends on your network, you have to change it. Okay? 
And finally, let's go to wireless LAN and here are the best. They here the media stream broadcast rate. Okay. And one of the options is here at tag at the RF here. So profile the five gig is high den high client density. It's kind of optional. So if you have a density the environment there are many hosts please enable this one okay and that's it so you did everything so let's go to the sender uh, here is a VLC a sender uh, if you have multiple NIC so client will uh, choose the destination uh, uh, depend on the, the routing table. So if you see it, uh, route print actually uh, here. If you want it, you don't need just to ignore it. This is routing table of multicast. And at the VLC, go to streaming and the file, add the video file and stream click then next then i will use udp udp and add the address is 234.1.1.102 then put it 5004 and just go go and streaming and then here with the wireshark you can check As you see, uh, multicast is here. And if it first time to set up the VLC, go to preference, and here it is not singing. So setting, oh sorry, setting, go to the bottom, and show settings all, and search TTL, and RTP, TTL, uh, oh not this one. Maybe access output. The hub limited here is 10 or something. You know, if you if there is a default value, it will it can be an error. So here, there is 10. Okay, and let's go to let's go to switch to check the routing table. Show IPM route. Uh, before that, let's check the configuration. Uh, for this uh, here, 103 is actually uh, the, the port, the source is connected just to give IP PIM dance mode. Dance mode is not actually used, usually sports mode, but for the lab, it's very simple. And VN1 is for the uh, APs and uh, client just to give IPPM dance mode. So, because here is the receivers, it should be on the VLAN for the IGM personal pin. And if we do show, uh, show IPM route here, so 234.1.1.102 is used and it comes from this IP address. So routing table is okay. And let's go, let's connect the device. I will connect Yame Yame. Then uh, I will use the client. First, let's run about the Wireshark. Here in George Wi Fi, and I will, I will filter the IGMP packet. Okay. Uh, sometimes the, uh, what is that, the editor switch ask about the, which address do you uh, belong? The membership core is come here, and it responses. But right now it's not long. 
So no response is so okay. Uh, I will open network. I will use open network and Mac is just almost same but UDP multicast two three four one dot one dot one or two and port number is five thousand four. If I open it, there will be video. It's like that. I will reduce a and here so client send the uh, membership report and then start it. Uh, this is VLC. Okay, uh, hold on. If I click stop, it send the leave message, leave group, and if I run again, it send join membership report, then immediately start. So, but Windows has some bug. So, if you use Windows VLC. Uh, you, had, you had better try to use RTP and then check the uh, membership oh this one uh, like the membership group and then you can uh, change with UDP but anyway so this is the uh, multicast works fine the video is very fine and then let's just see about uh, let's check the configuration and monitor mode let's go to the monitor and the multicast if you come here at the layer 3 oh there should be a, the one line but it's not here anyway uh, oh my god I request the video is come here uh, I will Connect again, and I will <laughs> click the menu again. The, and here, media stream. This is my PC, and the uh, QS video is very okay. Status admitted, and if you go to layer three, and the MGID is four one six zero, and the uh, multicast IP address is here, and the uh, VNet one is here. It's very normal, so everything is fine. So, with some CLI command, you can check about that, about the status. And let's see what you can see. Oh, I put password a thousand times, hundred thousand times, but still there is error. Okay, so one of the command we have to know is this one so uh, MCUC is allowed so everything is okay all right oh uh, very in a short time I explained about the multicast on the wireless as I told you to do that you have to know what is the multicast first and then you can config this one. Oh no no no, this one like a multicast media streams and five gig the media stream and at the SSID. Very simple. So uh, everything is on this the link. If you search this one like a video stream, colorist nine eight hundred, it will. At the Google, you can see it. everything is here. So anyway, so at the WSC, uh, multicast is very simple to deploy and very powerful. Thank you. This is Yamakim Sensei. Bye bye.